Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve certificate errors you might be getting on websites on your computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and left click on the start button one time to open up the start menu. Left click on the gear icon left side, where if you hover over it, it should say settings. Left click on that. Now you want to go ahead and select time and language tile, so left click on that. Make sure time is set to automatically, and if it's incorrect, I would suggest turning this off, and then and you've changed date and time, select change, and then just select the correct date and time, see if then, once you've clicked change, and you close out of here, see if that's resolved your issue. Another thing you can try if you close out of here, and you head back to the start button, Type in services into the star menu search. Best match to come back with services. Left click on that one time. Now you want to locate the Windows Time service. So you're going to have to probably scroll down pretty far on this list here. Locate Windows Time. Double click on it. Now you want to make sure startup type is set to automatic. So click inside the drop down here. Left click on automatic. And then left click on apply. And once you've done that, service status might still say stopped. Left click on the start button right next to it. It should allow you to start the service and left click on OK. So once you're done with that, again, restart your computer, see if that has resolved your problem. If it has not, we're going to close out of here. Head back to the start menu, type in internet properties or internet options, and just left click on that one time. Now you want to left click on the advanced tab of this window you see here and you want to go ahead and left click on where it says restore advanced settings. So left click on that. So again once you've already done that go ahead and left click on the connections tab now on the top of these internet properties bar. So when there's all these tabs now go over to connections and underneath local area network settings LAN settings do not apply to dial-up connections. Choose settings above for dial-up settings. Left click on this LAN settings button. You want to make sure automatically detect settings is checkmarked here. And then left click on OK. And then left click on apply and OK. Restart your computer. Hopefully that's resolved the problem. If there were anything else that was checked in there, you might want to consider unchecking and then just doing a trial and error and go back and forth. See if that's resolved the problem. But you definitely want to make sure automatically detect settings is checkmarked in there. Uh, another thing you can go ahead and try and do if you're using Internet Explorer would be to go ahead and left click on the star menu, type in Internet Options. So basically we're going back to the Internet Options that we were in before. So this time you want to go and left click on the Advanced tab and where it says Reset Internet Explorer Settings, Reset Internet Explorer Settings to their default condition. Left click on Reset here. And then I would suggest deleting personal settings, of course, unless you don't want to. So we'll reset the home page, search providers, and delete temporary files, history, cookies. You guys can read what's in here when you're going through on your end. You don't have to do it like that as well, but if you just want to be more cautious, feel free to check mark inside of there to also delete the personal settings. You might not necessarily need to, but if you just are really kind of getting stuck here, maybe it's worth a shot. And then left click on reset. And then like I said before, at this point, you would restart your computer, so hopefully you've already restarted your computer like five or six times at this point, and hopefully one of the methods I showed was able to resolve the problem for you. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.